Okay, my brethren, I pray that the Holy Spirit of God would lead us to all truth and understanding. I pray for increased wisdom and discernment for each and every one who is led here to this channel to listen to this in Jesus Christ's most holy, holy, holy name. I pray the blood of Jesus over all who are led here to listen to this audio message in Jesus Christ's most holy name. I used to worry about my children and my spouse, about whether what I could do to ensure that they would make it to the kingdom of heaven. And as things were going on in the world and the world was growing darker, I feared more for them and their safety. I tried to raise them up in the right ways and teach them about the Lord and his love for them. But I still was in fear. So I went before the Lord and I told him, Lord, I know that there is nothing that I can do to save my children or my spouse. I know that I can let your light shine through me and show them your mercy, grace, love, and forgiveness. And I can pray for them. But I know that I must really, what I really must do is trust in you. I must turn over this burden to you. For it is written that none shall come to the Father but through the Son. And so on that day, I released the burden of the salvation of my family, the salvation of my relatives, the salvation of my loved ones, the salvation of my brethren, and the salvation of my spouse over to Jesus Christ. And I said to him, I trust in you, Lord. You came to me and saved me from out of this world. And I know that before you gave me my children and my spouse, that you knew them and loved them before me. And I know that your love that you have for all of us is so very much more than we can love here on earth. So I thank you for the time that you have given me to be with them and for the comfort that they and love that they have brought to me. And I turn over this burden to you and I trust that you will see them through as you have seen me through. I have laid my treasures at your feet, the things of this earth that I love, at your feet. For I know that your ways are so much very higher than our ways, and I know that you work all things out for the good of those who love you. And when I turned these, my burdens, which was my family, over to him, I was finally able to have peace. In return, he gave me his peace that I knew no matter what might come, that he would look out for them better than I ever could. And my faith in him and in all of his promises, I know that no matter what happens here on our time on earth, that we will be reunited in heaven. This I know. So 
So if you have not turned this burden over yet to him, please do so today. I have a word for you from our sister Deborah Walden Fry. Two words, actually. Excuse my little dog. The enemy has underestimated you. Weep not, little one. Beloved, weep not. You were born to see. Even in your youth, you saw things others did not. You saw evil and you saw good, and it helped to shape your life. The things of the Spirit are not understood except by the Spirit of God. You are my child through the blood of Jesus. Yes, a prophetic person, a called out one, one who sees. You are made in my image, and I am the God who sees. There are counterfeits in this world, those who see with a different eye, an evil eye, and not with my eyes. Be not afraid of them, but walk in my integrity and excellence. You are so needed, dear one, you who have your father's eyes. You who see with the eyes of compassion and love, with the eyes of the Spirit, for it is to you that I am revealing mysteries. All the hidden treasures of Revelation are found in me. Only in my light can people see light. You are a forerunner, one who lights the way for others to follow. Pray to me, dear one, and I shall open the eyes of your heart to see in the Spirit. I will show you things to come. I will give you dreams and visions. Blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Look not at the things which are seen, the natural things, but at the things which are not seen, the supernatural things. See your healing and call it forth. See your prosperity and call it forth. See your loved ones saved and call it forth. See what the Spirit is doing on your behalf, for you shall know the riches of your glorious inheritance and the surpassing greatness of my power to you. Rejoice, beloved, and know this. Your eyes shall see me as I am. Praise God. I have to tell you all something right now. I had not read this word before I gave it to you and before I said what I said. And I praise God for my confirmation that he just gave me in this word. We serve a mighty God. I love him with all my heart, mind, soul, and spirit. Glory to God in the highest. Ephesians 1 and 18. I ask that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you may know the hope of his calling, the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and their surpassing greatness of his power to us who believe. 1 John 2 and 16 For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the boastful pride of life, is not from the Father, but it is from the world. 1 in John 3, 2 Beloved, now we are children of God, and it is not yet made manifest what we shall be. We know that if he shall be manifested, we shall be like him, for we shall see him even as he is. Matthew 13 and 16 but blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. 2 Corinthians 4 and 18 While we look not at things which are seen, but at things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen eternal. Job 42 and 5 My ears has heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. Matthew 5 and 8 Blessed are the pure of heart, for they will see God. Glory to God in the highest, my family. I, I thank God for this day and for this confirmation he has given us. I know many of you feel the same way as me. I know because I see your comments. And I am glad that he's answered us all in this message again today. The second message is the enemy has underestimated you. Beloved friends, I heard this. The enemy has underestimated you. God has kept you hidden in order that you may fly under the radar. Beloved, my most effective weapon is you, my child. You have been hidden for a time such as this. You have not always known this, but I positioned you in places that others would not go. You, dear one, have not had it easy. 
Some of you have even been homeless and on the streets through no fault of your own. Some have been in very difficult work situations where you were not noticed or rewarded. Some of you have had very difficult family situations. Some of you have had much abuse, physically, mentally, and emotionally, but no longer dwell on the past, beloved. I am doing a new thing, a marvelous thing. I have been with you through it all. I am the healer of broken hearts and bodies. I turned what the enemy meant for evil and made you into a mighty warrior that cannot be rivaled. Though the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy, I come to bring you life. Your life experiences have caused you to rise above the crowds. My spirit in you has made you a warrior of unparalleled beauty and strength. This is a time like no other in history. I have raised you up for a time such as this. I am raising you up from your place of anonymity. The unknown shall now be known. The unseen shall be seen. You carry my glory. You are swift and accurate with my word living in you. You are stealthy because you are hidden in the shadow of my wings. By the time when the enemy sees you, it is too late, for you will strike him and be gone before he realize what has happened. So take your weapons, beloved, which have been fashioned in the fires of adversity, and go forth and conquer. You shall be victorious. You are more than a conqueror through him who loves you. Now is your time. It is my doing, and it shall be marvelous in your eyes. Underestimate is when we estimate something or someone to be smaller or less important than they actually are. To think something is less or lower than it really is, or that someone is less strong or less effective. Flying under the radar is when someone is in a situation where very little or no attention is drawn to them. Psalm 91 and 4 He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a bulwark. Psalm 118 and 23. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to pulling down of strongholds. 1 Corinthians 15 and 57. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 8, 3 and 7. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. Glory to God in the highest, my family. The Holy Spirit was with us here today. I can tell you that because I felt it. I felt that tingling in my body that I get. And I cannot believe the way he moved in the Word today. It was a confirmation on some of the things that I wrote in the comments yesterday and what he has shown me in the past. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. I lift you all up, my brethren, and I ask Father God in heaven to place his holy fire hedge of protection round about you on all sides, above you and below you. I pray that he would cover your home and your vehicles, your places of work and worship, your pets and provisions, your children, their schools, and their activities. I pray that he would give you his strength to overcome the world as he did, and that when times of trouble come in your life, that he would give you his peace, which has no understanding. I pray that as you empty yourselves out to him, in your prayers and turn over all your burdens to him that he will fill you up to overflowing with his spirit his holy spirit in jesus Christ's most holy 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 name glory to god in the highest for he alone is worthy of praise glory to god amen and amen